downtown Columbus has seen a lot of recent investment, uh, commercial projects, uh, residential buildings, redoing older buildings, building new. Uh, a lot is happening downtown. We're sort of redensifying the downtown area by filling up parking lots and, and really bringing life back to the center city. There are a number of developers doing this work. Uh, a lot of it is very innovative. And today we're going to be meeting with one of them uh, who's doing some really interesting projects. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Everything. So you're having a big impact on downtown Columbus these days. I'm trying. <laughs> well, we're here at Gay and High, and I think you control, what, three corners? Uh, three, four? Yeah, three of the four corners. And so what's happening here at, uh, at Gay and High? We've had some new construction in terms of other apartment buildings that we've built, and we're in the process now of renovating these, these buildings here. I remember the block from uh, Gay to Long on the west side of High. That was a parking lot for years and years. Decades. So you filled that in? Yeah, we did. And that's apartments and commercial space? That's apartment and commercial space. And then on the east side of the, of the street opposite, uh, there are the old, well, some people remember the old Madison's clothing sure. store. Sure. Uh, and then Argo and Laney Jewelers was in the old White Ains optical exactly. building, as I recall. Exactly. And those are all getting redone. They are. So the buildings aren't the only thing you've been up to here at Gay and High. There's a, a fairly sizable sculpture that was just installed. Yeah, absolutely. And that was something that you commissioned? It was. Great. And then donated it to the Columbus Museum of Art. Janet Eckelman is the artist, and she's pretty pretty much worldwide famous for these types of, of installations and sculptures. And we thought with the idea that if we were going to try to establish this as an arts district, and you know, with a number of galleries, we have about a half a dozen galleries that are going to move in, that a perfect way to kind of set off the area would oh, be to have this monument. Yes. It is an impressive piece of work. What was the earliest project here that you that you did at Gay and High? I think the first earliest project really was the Citizens uh, Trust Building that we worked on. You know, as you remember, with you. Right, right, right. Yeah. We placed that, that building project. on the register and uh, created, I think it was 63 apartments and some restaurant retail space. And uh, now we're in the process of selling those apartments as as condominiums, mm -hmm. uh, which saw obviously been popular also too. Well, I'd love to see a little more. Great. All right. Let's go do Lead it. Lead the way. This space being all modernized, I, I don't recognize. I don't recognize it at all. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't very nice, to be honest. No, it wasn't at all. So this is the entry hall to the 1912 Citizens Building, and of course, over the years, it got updated. So what did you do to uh, restore it to the condition it's in now? Well, as you probably remember, the entire ceiling in this in this particular lobby area was had been stuccoed over, mm -hmm. and uh, really we didn't we, we we knew that there was something below the stucco. We didn't know quite exactly what that was, and we were actually you know very ple pleasantly surprised uh, to find the ceiling uh, really pro pretty much more intact than we might have guessed. Well, it, of course, it looks like hammered copper, but I suspect it's painted plaster. I mean, even even in historic times, they had shortcuts. Sure, and that's exactly what it is, painted plaster. Mm -hmm. But boy, it came out really well. It really and, did. And these, as near as you can tell, these are the original colors that were used on the surface. Yeah, I believe so. So let's see what else you did here in the building. Great, let's go up and take a look at the bank hall. Oh, what a great space. This is gorgeous, the old banking lobby. So uh, I remember this, this had been altered quite a bit. The, these fluted columns have been covered with marble and you couldn't see them at all. What else would happen in here that you needed to sort of reverse it to make it better? There was a whole mezzanine uh, that had oh, been added right. yeah. at, at some point in time. Right. Uh, in the past, as you mentioned, the marble columns, or, or the columns have been clad in marble, mm -hmm. which was a real mess getting off and we had to re, you know, completely redo all of the plaster columns. So a lot of plaster repair. Absolutely. And then I, the old vault is here. Yes. And how are you using that now? That's a small space. Uh, that's an, actually our mailroom. It worked out great. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, and it, it actually almost looks like a vault still because the mailboxes look like security deposits. Well, and, and you can still see the workings of the, of the vault door and all of that. Absolutely. Well, this has been terrific, uh, seeing these projects. You've, you've accomplished a lot, uh, but what else is coming down the line? What do you have planned? 
Well, as we, as we spoke about earlier, there's projects on the east side of High Street that are currently mm -hmm. under construction. Right. And uh, we also have a, the renovation of the PNC Tower, uh, both oh, in, right. as a mixed-use building, all part office, part, part apartments, and that's nearing completion right now. And that's the one that has the sunken plaza with a big uh, water feature. Exactly. Up there. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, I'll have to have a look at that at some point. Well, what you've been doing downtown, I think, is really important, bringing people back downtown, repopulating the place, increasing the density downtown, making it back into the, really, to the city it once was. Uh, and it went through a long period in the 20th century where it really wasn't as healthy as it could have been. So sure. this is something really important. This seems to be really important to you personally. Why are you taking on projects like this? They can't be easy. They're not easy. But as you know, uh, like you, I'm a bit of an old, an old building you know, buff <laughs> and a history buff on the one hand. On the other hand, I was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. And, you know, there really isn't an example in the country of any uh, prosperous city that doesn't also have a healthy downtown. So anything that we can do as a family and I can do personally to try to make that happen, I think is important for the community. Well, I think it really is happening and it is thanks to people like you. Thank you for the tour Thank and you. for all the work you're doing. Thank you. Thank you.